It's the NBA on 2K Sports. And tonight, it'll be the Charlotte Hornets. And a similar style used by both sides of this matchup, Richard. Teams that prefer to operate in half-court sets rather than in transition. Yeah, and look, that puts a premium on defense. Both teams can run a ton of different sets, and that means you've got to be prepared and disciplined on the defensive end. Good points. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. The wing set for him, Levine and DeRozan. Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. And it's Ball in at the point guard. Here's Vucevic. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. Their last encounter was in Chicago. Well, last time out, they got the win in large part because of the play of their bench, and they provided a lot of the scoring punch. And you can tell how important having depth is for them. Sometimes it's the difference between a win and a loss. Certainly, Nikola can hit threes, but come on. He's a seven-footer with touch. Those inside shots, they work too. Ball, the pass to Washington. Oubre against DeRozan. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. It's amazing. He is one of the best I have ever seen at drawing contact and getting to the line. DeRozan just creates tons of animals. You know, Greg, some guys are late bloomers. But DeRozan, he was just the opposite. Yeah, reports are he had handles at age three. First dunk came in the sixth grade star high school prospect and in a strange way he's still an underrated superstar quick start for the bulls in this one williams finds DeRozan. back to williams nice pass led him to the rack perfectly for the layup and De and DeRozan has done an amazing job improving his playmaking skills including finding his open teammates oh it's good the assist that time from ball and that ends the struggle. You could feel the tensions in the building with each miss. Yeah, not the start that they wanted, but maybe that basket was all they needed to get into a little bit of a rhythm. Williams sets a screen for Levine. Oh, and it's sent back by Washington. Oubre with it, now defended by Levine. Oubre dishes to Plumlee. Here's Ball, driving to the basket. Man, a little bit of showmanship from Ball on that slam, displaying some athletic ability. For Chicago, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Vucevic setting the pick for Levine. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Out, out to a hot start. Four makes and five shots to begin this ball game. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Rozier against Levine. Now Rozier. He's coming off a 10-point game against Oklahoma City. And even while he was piling up all those points, he still found a way to create chances for his teammates. The assist just kept on coming. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Theme passes to Williams, and that one is good. Because he draws so much attention on offense, the D, look, they're going to have problems with Levine, and it opens up some great passing lanes for him. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Daniels is checked in for Plumlee. Cody Martin comes in for Oubre. Fournier is checked in for Ogier. And Thomas subbed in for Ball. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Andre Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Javante Green comes in for Williams. Ayo Dosumu is checked in for Zach Levine. And it's Alex Caruso in for Lonzo Ball. Drummond with a screen on Thomas. Oh, and it's sent back by Washington. Here's Fournier. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. There's one thing that's become clear about this Hornets team. They've become one of the best passing teams in the league. 
And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. And he sinks the second. And Charlotte's passing has improved a lot in the last few seasons, uh, Greg, even more. Yeah, their, their assist numbers have been terrific, and they keep their turnovers to a minimum. That's a trend you want to see continue. Drummond sets the screen for Caruso. And it's Drummond missing. Hornets trail by four. Fournier best to McDaniel. And finished off by McDaniel. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. DeRozan surveying the D. Green with a screen on Martin. Rosen dishes to Green. 43 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. And it's tied up with that one. There's 42 seconds left to play here in the first. Caruso finds DeRozan. Inside. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And that strength of Drummond at times can be overwhelming. Awesome at staying with the shot even when the pressure is on. And that one misses. Fournier pass to Thomas. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Yeah, there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. There's 25 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Now, here's Fournier, guarded close. Thomas, no good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Now, here's Dosumu, Green, and McDaniels with the block. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. One is on top. They're up by one. And we'll be back with you right after this. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. Looking at what we've seen from the Hornets, what do you think? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. You can't overstate how much interior defense can shape the game. They have a distinct advantage there, and they have turned it into a lead. The guard pair, Ball and Rozier. McDaniels is out there with Kelly Oubre, and it's Plumley in at the center, locking down the middle. So that's who Charlotte starts the second with. Plumley sets the pick for Rozier. Shoots over Dosumu, and it's slammed in by Plumley. And once Rozier spots that hole in the defense, he just doesn't hesitate. Just sends the ball to an open shooter. On the wing, Levine, covered by Oubre. Here's Vucevic. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. Vucevic has got his second basket. One of your trademarks, Richard, was athleticism from the days we first saw you at Arizona and we're seeing teams really place right now a premium in today's NBA on that athleticism factor. Yes, when you talk about positionless basketball, then you typically go to the guys that can do it all and those are the wing players. They can guard small. They can guard bigs. They can do a little bit of everything and that's why teams are looking for them. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Williams, a screen on Oubre. And Levine, here we go. Now, here's Dosumu. Rogier defending. Count it good. 
And that's now six points for Vucevic. Hey guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And the Hornets call time here. Now let's take a look at the most efficient scoring teams in the NBA. Number one, the Bulls. Are just tremendously disciplined offensively, always looking for the best possible shot. That's how they've gotten that field goal percentage to skyrocket. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. McDaniels passes to Plumley. Oubre outside. Now, here's Rogier. D right on him, uses the glass to finish the lane. They are just killing him on the interior. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. It's a three-point game. And for Terry Rozier, all of his efficiency numbers are way up the last couple of years. Here's a guy who's just 37% from the field. And the numbers of Terry Rozier, as you mentioned, they're getting better bit by bit. Scary Terry's three-point shooting is way up, and that helps big time. With, with experience, Rozier isn't forcing things offensively, becoming a much better decision maker. The Hornets have gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Paul with a wide-open look, hits the three-point pop. Ball's got the lead up to five now for Charlotte. And Ball continues to show he can drain threes. The defense must adjust or he is going to keep doing damage. Vucevic setting the pick for Levine. He dishes it to Vucevic. And that comes off the assist by Levine. Levine's got three assists in the game. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Ball kicks to Uber. Ball is screen on Levine. And finished off by Uber. A powerful finisher. Uber Jr. You deserve to get dumped on when you let him get inside. Bulls trail by five. Levine feeling it out a bit. Dishes it to Williams. And rebounded by McDaniel. McDaniels got six rebounds here tonight. Oubre with it. Now defended by Levine. Over in the corner, Rogier. Tries from 10. Chicago grabs the miss. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. The kick out to Ball. There's a screen by Williams. Dosunmu, the pass to Williams. Bucket is good. Williams has got seven. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Hornets leading by three. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Oubre outside. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. Personal foul. 
Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. Catching up on the changes for Charlotte. Washington's checked in for Plumlee. Cody Martin comes in for McDaniels. Evan Fournier's checked in for Terry Rozier. And it's Isaiah Thomas in for Ball. And DeRozan kicks to Ball. DeRozan passes to Caruso. Three and Green slams it in. While he's a bit undersized for a four, he more than makes up for it with his bounce. One oh five left in the second quarter. Thomas dishes to Oubre. Back to Thomas. Fires the three. Ball with the rebound. And sometimes on defense, you could just get lucky. Over to the left wing. Stolen by Thomas. Oubre outside. Here's Thomas. He's coming off a 10-point game against Oklahoma City. Drives from the block, and Oubre finishes it off. Oubre's got his second bucket of the game to go. Crafty at cashing in from there. Oubre Jr. enjoys working on his interior game when given the opportunity. Just reliable from guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. In the corner, it's Martin. Washington sets the pick for Oubre. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Oubre's got eight points in the quarter. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. 31, the ball, 26. Thanks very much, Billy. I heard you tell the guys to take it to them and play with more physicality offensively. What did you mean? Well, just I think when we're getting the ball inside around the baskets, at times we got to go up a little bit stronger and play through the contact and go to the rim. Tough sledding in there, but you got to get there. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Hey there and welcome. It's getting hot in here and the postseason hunt is getting even hotter. Never a better time for a look at the league power rankings. A lot of stats go into making these power rankings. When you guys are judging teams, do you trust the numbers or do you usually just go with your gut? I always follow my gut. The numbers don't paint a complete picture. They can't account for the intangibles. Yeah, I agree with Shaq. He always follows his gut. He follows it to the kitchen. He follows it to the barbecue <laughs> joint. He follows it to the to the restaurants, everywhere. I agree with him. But boop, boop And it hasn't been wrong yet. And we come back to the game at hand in the first half. Plenty to like for the Charlotte Hornets. 
You look at their bench production, so valuable to have guys that can come in and contribute the way they have. Let's the starters catch their breath without doing any. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been quite a game for Kelly Oubre. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. Taking a look at the Bulls, Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. Ball and Levine are the guard set. And it's DeRozan in at the three slot. Ball against ball. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. Off target from three-point range. And it's DeRozan with the ball for Chicago. Trailing by five. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Fiend passes to Williams. Bulls moving the ball around. And it's DeRozan missing. And one shooting indicative of smooth offensive play. Up at 60%. They're a machine from the floor. Oubre can't get it to go. A, a little ambitious on that possession, trying to hit a shot in the face of that defensive pressure. Levine against Washington. Williams kicks to Levine. Six on the shot clock. Ball from long range. You can't get that one. And the Hornets now going the other way. That's not how you want to come out of the break. Three straight misses. They need to settle in quick. Over in the corner, Rozier. Let's the three fly. A three-pointer is right on target. Rozier's got the lead up to eight now for the Hornets. And over the course of his career, Rozier has really improved his three-point numbers. That, that off-season work on the jumper has paid off big time. Here's to Rosen. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. And that free throw good from DeRozan. A premium talent in this league. DeRozan about as valuable as they come. Charlotte making some changes. McDaniels comes in for Plumlee. And Evan Fournier subbed in for Oubre. And a change for the Bulls. Ayo Dosumu is checked in for ball. DeRozan finds Levine. Vucevic is screen on Fournier. Levine passes to Vucevic. And that comes off the assist by Levine. Levine's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Hornets leading by five. Outside Fournier. Jacks up a three. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Bulls. On Sunday. They'll be facing Steven Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. And then on Tuesday, it'll be the Atlanta Hawks coming into town. And that game against Milwaukee, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. Hope you got some popcorn. When Levine gets up for a slam, Zach knows how to put on a show. Rozier against Levine. Passes to Washington. Washington sets the pick for Fournier. Charlotte no good that time either. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. DeRozan. Oh, and the jam by DeRozan. Ooh, okay, I see you, DeMar. Putting defenders on skates. A little yippity yop. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. And the Hornets call time here. You know, trying to stem the tide here. On the wrong side of the scoring run here, we might see a line of change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. Cody Martin, he's checked in for the Hornets. Thomas comes in for ball. Chicago also making some changes. Andre Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Green comes in for Patrick Williams. And it's Alex Caruso in for Zach Levine. Fournier in the corner. Sinks the three-pointer. And the Hornets lead by four. 
You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Over in the corner, Green. Drummond sets the screen for Green. There's the feed to Drummond. See the stat sheet here for Terry Rozier. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. And that one misses. And the Hornets making a change here. Plumlee's checked in. No luck that time either. Charlotte leading by four. Martin kicks to Thomas. For three, Fournier. That one's not going to go. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. And to put things simply, this has not been his quarter. Rosen dishes to Green. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Outside Fournier. No good from outside. And he has been ice cold from beyond the arc here since halftime, and he continues yet to fire away. He has got to tone it down if he wants to help his team. Drummond with a screen on Martin. DeRozan passes to Drummond. That doesn't go on the chance to top. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Chicago trailing here. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Green kicks to Caruso. Back to Green. Only with the steal. Outside, Martin. And there's the pass to Thomas. A three ball. Charlotte no good that time either. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Hornets lead by two. We'll be back shortly live from Spectrum Center. 37, the Bulls, 35. Let's take a listen to a recent huddle from Coach Billy Donovan. He's done a great job moving the ball. Let's keep the ball moving. Extra pass, attack, pass, and play, okay? Billy Donovan joined the activity his team is showing. The motion of his offense just wants to see more of it. Yeah, they're working together well. The, the key now is to try to do it consistently throughout the rest of this evening. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Martin is out there with Oubre. Then there's LaMelo Ball. Then it's Evan Fournier. And it's Plumlee in the center position. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. Oh, boy, Zach Levine. Sheesh, that was mean. Here's Ball. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That's his first foul. Terry Rozier's checked in for Charlotte. Vucevic checked in for Chicago. Substitution for Caruso against Rozier. Can't hit from 12. Outside, Levine. Williams, a screen on Fournier. Levine dishes to Williams. Levine kicks to Caruso. Williams sets a screen for Caruso. Four on the shot clock. Williams passes to Caruso. Ball from long range. The Hornets pull it in. Plumlee's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Outside Fournier. Ball feeling it out a bit. And those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. The Bulls shooting it very well tonight, around 57%. Levine against Fournier. It's stolen by Martin. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Outside, ball. 
Martin with the screen for ball. And he's good on the three ball. And the Hornets lead by three. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for the Hornets? The kick out to ball. Williams sets a screen for Levine. Back to Williams. And the rebound goes to Martin. Hornets leading by three. And there's the foul. Here go on Alex Caruso. That is his first foul of the game. Charlotte calls timeout. DeMar DeRosa. He's checked in for the Bulls. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I had a chance to find out what Steve Clifford talked about with his players. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed, guys. All right, David, thanks. And they double up DeRozan. Bulls moving the ball around. Levine dishes to Vucevic. Rozier looking around. Charlotte no good that time either. Bulls trail by three. And Ball gets it to go on the assist from DeRozan. DeRozan's got five assists in the game. Ball with it. He kicks it to Plumlee. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Ogier the pass to Plumlee. Shot clock at five. Fires from deep. And it's Mason Plumlee with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Charlotte making some changes. P.J. Washington, he's checked in for Martin. And Oubre subbed in for Rogier. Vucevic is screen on Fournier. Levine dishes to Vucevic. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. Levine's got five assists in the game. Charlotte has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Ball against ball. Great D that time for Vucevic. Levine kicks to Vucevic. To Rosen against Plumley. Vucevic with the bucket. And now a three-point Bulls lead. Look at that shot. Vucevic not afraid to carry the weight, so to speak. And in a tough situation, the team knows that they can rely on him. Washington sets the pick for ball. Down low. And then Washington with the dunk. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Fournier against Levine. There's the dish to Williams. Outside to Rosen. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Charlotte shooting in the fourth quarter, not pretty, down around 29%. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the third team. Pass to Washington. Ball with it. Williams picks him up. And Ball is a proven distributor. He's got a real talent for spotting the cracks in the deep. 44 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. Bean passes to Vucevic. It's in! Because of that refined offensive skill set, Vucevic can be a dependable scoring option late in game. This isn't a done deal yet, but they have got to move quick. Yeah, they need to focus on scoring every possession and not turning over the ball. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Plumlee.
24 seconds left in the game. So they foul intentionally. Well, here's Levine. And an intentional foul right there. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. As a leader on this team, Levine is used to these moments, not letting the spotlight overwhelm him. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Gets them to fall, and those are huge free throws. It's now a two-possession game. Ball up top. Oubre for three. Rebounded by Bucevic. And he commits the intentional foul. Evan Fournier, second personal foul. And the third team foul. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. Athletically gifted, a knockdown shooter. It feels like Levine is constantly underappreciated for all the things that he does. Ball fires from way outside. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Bulls ball. And so it's Chicago winning this one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end, but the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and pulled it out. Well said. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Nikola Vucevic.